there are all kinds of very honest revelations that you share. One of them which really caught me off guard was an admission that you actually, in the middle of games, were so addicted to sex that you would actually go out and have sex in between innings. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, you know. I was, I was pretty crazy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy lifestyle, you know. Uh, sex addiction, all addictions, and I heard you guys talking about sex addiction and, and drug addiction, eating addiction, all addictions has to do with behavior. Mm -hmm. If I never change the behavior, I can never get well from it. And, and we could stay in the addiction as long as we want to. And in middle of games, yeah, I, I would go between innings and stuff like that and, and, and run back and, you know, have a little party going on. And, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, that's just the addiction, the drive. Uh, but you, your teammates, the coaches, did they not know? Well, some of them covered for me. It was pretty cool. I, I ask in part not to, not to blame them, but it's, a, it's enabling behavior that's not good for you. Well, yeah, it it's definitely is. It's a behavior that's not good for anyone. But I think when you have, when you have an addicted personality, like addicts and alcoholics and, and sex addiction, it's addictive personality. Mm -hmm. And we know how do we turn it on and we turn it off. And it's not until you have an awakening in your life uh, to, to get well on the inside. And I think so many people never get to that place. They, they look good on the outside, but they're never well on the inside. Well,